What's going on everyone, Rich Lee here, and today it's time for the 13th episode in Season 5 of my Bayern Munich career mode series. First up today then, we're taking on Lyon in the first leg of the Champions League semi-final. They've done incredibly well to get this far, and they've got a very solid team as well, so they're definitely a team to be taken seriously. I won't take anything for granted here. I wasn't expecting to come up against Lyon in the Champions League semi-final, but... As I say, they do have a very solid squad, and they will definitely cause us problems. Let's get into the game then, and let's see what we can do. So, Leon have the kickoff then, and to be completely honest, they were the better team in the first half. Obviously, I wasn't going to take anything for granted in this game. It's a Champions League semi-final, and regardless of who you come up against, it's a game to be taken very seriously, but... I honestly didn't think that Leon would be as good as they were in this game. They were pinging the ball around incredibly well, causing us problems, and I didn't really know what to do, to be honest. Nothing really seemed to be working out. That pass didn't work, and they just casually played it back to the goalkeeper. Thought I might get a chance, but nope, they don't panic. They just pass it around the back, and they seemed comfortable at this level, to be honest. And just look at that ball forward. He was offside, but there wasn't much in it whatsoever, as you'll see here. That was an absolutely fantastic ball, and it just shows what they're capable of. Really good stuff from Leon. We've got a chance here, though. Ronaldo's on the ball, looks out to Gareth Bale, pokes it forward to Neymar, and we're just about able to create something here. Leon were defending well, but we take it around them with Messi. He looks up to Ronaldo, and we should have scored that. That should have found the back of the net, but into the second half, and we do find the back of the net with Tony Cruz. Absolute banger of a long shot there. Finds the corner of the net. Keep had no chance whatsoever, and even though Leon were the better team in the first half, going into the second half, we are playing much better football here. Really didn't get going in the first half, but changed it all around in the second. And as you can see here, I think that was Schweinsteiger who knocks a Leon defender over there to give Cruz space. So thanks, Schweinsteiger, that was absolutely awesome. We got the 1 0 lead, and we could have made it 2 there. Really close to making it 2, in fact, but just wasn't meant to be. And then Leon do some incredible defensive work there to get the ball forward. And they got a very good opportunity of their own here. Play that out wide. Looking up. Play it. Just keep on playing it around. They're not panicking. And they're just taking their time. And then just watch this ball as it goes forward. Really nice stuff from them. I thought they were going to go score there. But wasn't to be. We couldn't get it away though. And now they've got yet another chance here. Another cracking ball. And this time... They find the back of the net. It's the equaliser. It's 1-1. And to be completely honest, based on how the game has gone so far, they do deserve a goal. They do deserve to be in this game. I wasn't really the better team. I probably only had one or two chances up until this point. And Leon had a lot more. So it's 1-1. And that's fully deserved for them. We get very lucky here with the bounce. It finds its way to Thomas Muller. He's going to turn his man here. Cross the ball over. Is anyone on the end of it? Yes, they are. And then there's another touch as well from Ronaldo. I wasn't controlling Ronaldo, so I can't take any credit whatsoever for that goal. But it was a cracking finish nonetheless. Nice little ball over from Thomas Muller. Gets headed across. And then Ronaldo finds the back of the net. As I say, that wasn't me. So I can't take any credit for that whatsoever. But it was a good finish. Finds the back of the net. Makes it 2-1. And we're back in the lead. Leon aren't going to give up though, they've got another chance here, down the wing, decent ball, Neuer catches it though and we've got a chance to get rid of this, but I screwed up, what on earth was I doing there, I'm not too sure, and then Neuer gives away a penalty, I messed up completely there, I have no idea what I was thinking, and they fully deserve this chance to get back into the game, I messed up, Leon have got a chance to make it 2-2 with Fekir, are they going to take it? Yes, they are. I didn't move. They find the back of the net. And now we've got 12 minutes to try and find a winner. But they decide to start wasting time in the corner. And I got frustrated at this point. So I slid in, gave away a foul. And they've got a chance to make it 3-2 from the free kick. If they can float this one into the box, they've got very good chance here. But instead, they play it straight to us. What on earth were they doing there? I have no idea. They could have had a good opportunity there. But instead, we're taking the ball away. We've got it with Messi. He's looking out wide. What am I doing? I'm not too sure. I play it out wide though to Gareth Bale. And we've got a very good chance here. I don't know what I was thinking with Messi. Didn't look very good at all. But it did work out in the end. And Gareth Bale picks up the winner. We pick up a 3-2 victory from this game. 
I'm not too sure we deserved it, but I will definitely take it. And in the next game, we're taking on Kaiserslautern. This one doesn't really mean much. We've already picked up the Bundesliga title, so I'm not going to bore you with the highlights. It wasn't a great game of football. I gave a couple of young lads their debuts, and we picked up a 2-0 victory. Next up, then, we're taking on Lyon in the second leg of the Champions League semi-final, and I was very impressed with them in that last game. They picked up two away goals, and they won't make things easy for us here. They're a solid team, as they showed in that last game. We just about scraped a victory last time out. They start this game well, and they get an early goal. Yeah, they're definitely a team to be taken seriously, and they're right back in this game. In fact, as it stands, they would go through on away goals, so that's not great. We've got a chance here, though, and I missed an open goal with Gareth Bale. That's happened a couple of times recently. Thankfully, that one was offside, so it wouldn't have counted anyway, but it's still pretty embarrassing. We've got another chance, though, and how does the keeper save that? I have no idea whatsoever. We continue to pile on the pressure though. And we've got another chance here. Poking that through to Messi. What on earth was I doing there? That should have been a goal. I hit it straight at the keeper. Absolute rubbish shot from me. But never mind. We've got another chance here. Messi wins the ball. Can we take this opportunity? Turns his man. Looking for a pass here. Is anyone going to make it possible? He just decides to run it alone instead. And he finds the back of the net. Brilliant finish there from Messi. He makes it 1-1. And there weren't any more highlights from this game, so we're progressing to the Champions League final and we'll be taking on Arsenal. They smashed Barcelona 5-1. And the next game sees us take on Mainz. Once again, it's a Bundesliga game, so I won't bore you with the details, but I did give a couple of younger players a chance that wouldn't usually play in the first team, and we do pick up the 1-0 victory. Into the final game of the episode now then, and this time I will be showing the highlights. Lam and Ribéry are retiring at the end of the season, so I'm giving them game time here. Lam is the captain, so he'll be picking up the Bundesliga trophy at the end of the game, and I feel that these two deserve to be playing in this one. Their careers are coming to an end, they've been fantastic servants to Bayern, and they fully deserve one final opportunity to show off their skills. And Ribéry does just that as the game starts. I thought he would have won a penalty there, but... For some reason, the referee didn't give anything. I was quite surprised about that. I thought Ribéry got fouled, but nothing given. And then they nearly score here. Are they going to take it? No. Good stop by the keeper. We've got another chance then as Lam plays that off to Avansky. Crosses it over. Figuera's on it. And he goes for a ride on the Hamburg player. And we get a penalty for that. Watching it back on the replay, that was not a penalty at all, as you'll see here. My guy just kind of jumps on him, but... Yeah, the referee saw that fit to give a penalty. Didn't give a penalty when Ribéry got taken out, but that is one apparently. And Lam scores from the spot. He's the captain today. He's bagged himself a goal, and it's 1-0 to Bayern. We've got another chance then as Evansky's on the ball. Looks up, plays it off to Ribéry. Poor defending, and this allows him to score and make it 2-0. So far, everything is going to plan. It's gone to script. Lam and Ribéry have both scored in their final ever Bundesliga games, and... I'm very happy with that. It's a fantastic way to send them off, see them retire. And yeah, what can I really say? Lam and Ribéry have got themselves back on the score sheet, possibly for the final ever time for Bayern. Anyway though, Hamburg are attacking us here and Lam shows fantastic defensive quality there. Gets the tackle in, plays it off to Ribéry, moves it on to Ibra's free gen. He's looking up, going to play that through to Israelson. Can we get another goal here? Israelson shows fantastic footwork there. And then slides it into the back of the net. I have absolutely no idea what the Hamburg defenders are doing in this game. They're making it so easy for us, but I'm not complaining. Just look at the way that Israelson controls that there. Fantastic stuff from the young lad. Takes it around his man. Finds the back of the net. And we've got a 3-0 lead going into the second half. So the game is won. It's a brilliant way to finish off the season. And we've got a chance to add another goal here. Israelson's got a chance. Keeper stops it, but Ibra's regen gets the rebound, and it's now 4-0. We've been absolutely brilliant in this final game. It's a fantastic way to finish off the season, and we have completely destroyed Hamburg. They haven't had a chance here, and I'm very happy to go 4-0 up against them. They were determined to get something from the game, though, and straight from kickoff, they were moving the ball around very nicely here. Suddenly, they worked out how to play football. They've been pretty terrible for most of the game, but then at 4-0 down, they suddenly start playing like Barcelona. 
pinging the ball around beautifully. We get the ball back and then I gift them that one. They score from it and I have absolutely no idea what Lam was thinking there. He had, had such a good game and then I just passed it straight to them. I don't know why I did that. It was ridiculous from me. I don't usually make stupid mistakes like that. But in this game, I gifted them a goal. They made it 4-1 and that's pretty disappointing. But doesn't matter too much. We still won the game by four goals to one and we go on to lift that Bundesliga trophy. So Lam steps up, lifts the trophy and we are Bundesliga champions for the fifth season running. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again next time for the series finale. We got a chance to win the treble once again. We'll be playing the DFB Pokal final and the Champions League final next episode. Can we win the treble once again? Tune in next time to find out.